I am disqualified from heaven. That's what I've told dozens of students and people at skate parks. And they often get a shocked look on their face. Here's this guy sharing the gospel with them. And he's saying he's disqualified from heaven. But then I follow that statement up with, but God has qualified me by sending Jesus, his son, to die in my place for my sins and to rise from the dead. Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper, published every Monday and Thursday at 6 a.m. Pacific time, where I take the truth of scripture and apply it to your daily life. Paul has been praying for the Colossians in chapter 1, several requests, and now in verse 12 he says, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. Marion Jones became famous in 2000 during the Olympics in Sydney as a sprinter and a long jumper where she won three gold medals and two bronze medals. Shortly after that, however, there was suspicion that she was using performance-enhancing substances. Why? Not just because of how well she performed, but her husband tested positive for steroids. But from 2000 to 2007, she vehemently denied that she had taken anything. But then in 2007, she admitted that she had taken steroids and her medals were stripped from her. Like her, because of her actions being disqualified, because of my actions and your actions, we are disqualified from heaven. In fact, there's no one that can qualify because all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So what are we to do about the fact that we were disqualified, but God qualified us through Jesus? We are to be grateful, to be thankful Back in 1860, at Northwestern University in Illinois, they had a life-saving squad that would help boats that were in trouble on Lake Michigan. And in 1860, the Lady Elgin was floundering in the water. And so a man, a ministerial student from the college named Edward Spencer personally rescued 17 people. And at, it, it was so strenuous doing this that his health was affected and he had to give up training for ministry. Years later when he died, it was mentioned at his funeral that not a single person of the 17 came back to thank him. Ingratitude is sin. The opposite of ingratitude or the opposite of gratitude is selfishness. Now, psychology tells us that it is good for people to be thankful, particularly if they are under a lot of stress, and that is great. But we have a greater reason than that it's helpful to be thankful for our mental health, to be thankful, and that is that we've been qualified for the kingdom of light through Jesus' death and resurrection. God went from being our judge to being our savior and our father. And this is very personal as we are in union with him. So will you make it a habit because of this great salvation to be regularly giving thanks to God for what he has done? Hey, make sure you check out the previous 183 episodes of Truth Talk with Ed Skipper. And if you are watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. And until next time, may you overflow with gratitude about what God has done for you, qualifying you to share in the kingdom of light.